All right, Mrs. Murder here. I'm here to do another review already because I read another John Sanford book. It's John Sanford's The Night Crew. Since this was written in 1997, I am thinking that he wrote this before he wrote a lot of his other books. But it is every bit as gripping and thrilling and exciting with every bit as many interesting characters and good character development people that you've cared about people you wanted to know and people you followed and people you're hoping for if they were in dangerous situations it's really really an interesting book this one the night crew is about a woman who is uh, does videotapes for tv shows and everything and you know sells the tape she and her crew they have a truck they drive around and they hot spot anything that's going on at night that is uh, a fire or a murder or in this case as we start out a teenager jumping to his death or did he jump did he fall what was going on here and it follows an interesting, her cast of characters, her, the people that are working with her in the truck and making these videos. We get into their lives and what's going on with them and she's pursued and the, she winds up having to do a lot of her own sleuthing. But it is um, every bit as fascinating, involved in uh, characters and everything else as, as any of, John Sanford's other books and if this was an early one I can see why he kept going because he just he is amazing I don't need to read any of the accolades that are written on the book because you can look them up themselves when you buy your own book and you'll enjoy reading this and finding out what happened to her what happened to other people in her crew and um, her involvement her romantic involvements which become complicated it's just an all-around, it really is an all-around good book. And I had a hard time putting it down, as I always do. It's worth staying up and reading, though. And um, I hope that you'll pick it up and enjoy reading it. It's a freestanding book, so that means it isn't one of the prey novels in the series. I think there are 20, did I say 26 at this bookstore today? I don't know of the Prey novels, and then of course there are uh, 10 or 11 of the Virgil Flowers mysteries. And then she, ha and then he has four that are freestanding. And I saw another one there, First Watch or something like that. I don't know whether I want to read that or not. It's, I, I'll see. Right now for next week, I'm going to keep collecting wait for different prey novels to come in because different people who have read them are going to send me some of their books so that I can read the prey novels but right now I'm going to read the next three Elizabeth Salander Girl and Dragon Tattoo books I didn't realize that uh, the her notes were released so that those three books could be printed so there's book four five and six and I'll be reading uh, One's an Eye for an Eye. Well, I think that's five. But any, at any rate, that's what we'll be reviewing next week. For now, another Jan Sanford that you might really like if you want to read uh, from a woman's protagonist, because she is the protagonist here, even though she has a lot of helpmates. And... If you want to read from a woman's protagonist, the other one, Virgil's Flowers, of course, and uh, Luke, but they're, they're males, uber males. <laughs> so read this book, pick it up, you'll enjoy it, and uh, talk to you again next next week. It might not take me a week to read another book. i got to get moving on these, and I've got three, three uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo books left. I read the first three, but these are the three that I've written since... since the Swedish author has passed away. And until next week then, ta-ta for now.